these fans outside are coming up. So exciting. They are partying in the streets. It is a great night. The Celtics' dominant performance. The defense was on top. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, all these guys really showing up when they needed it most. You can take a look now down Causeway Street. You can see <laughs> we want to go to our Michael Rosenfeld outside TD Garden. How's it like there, Michael? The Celtics making it look easy tonight. The championship never in doubt. The Celtics had this from the very beginning. Every bar and restaurant down here on Causeway Street, Canal Street, has been packed from halftime pizza to scores to Sullivan's. And you can see everybody just starting to stream out of the bars and restaurants this evening as the Celtics take this title. You can see how empty Causeway Street itself is right now. Police officers are doing a really good job of trying to keep the crowd control and the crowds to a minimum. They want people to filter out for safety's sake, but people are still gathering outside the bars and restaurants. With me now, some fans who are enjoying every minute of this. What are your thoughts right now? you watch the game and how was it tonight? I watched the game at Estella's with my friends. I'm so excited. Banner 18. We're lit. I love my city. Let's go Celtics! Tell me about enjoying the win. Another title for Boston. It's been a while. Yeah. We knew we were going to get it. It just, we wanted to win home so we got it home. Yeah, that's what we wanted to do. tonight where'd you watch the game and what do you think of the big win well we came from florida and we're a big celtics fan i grew up in boston my both my kids were born in boston and we love we love boston the celtics Bender 18 yeah it's been a while since we've done this here in boston but the fans love it how was it tonight where'd you watch the game and what do you think of all the crowds here the crowd is awesome i've been out here for about a couple hours Let's go Celtics, am I right? It's been a while since we celebrated here in Boston, but the fans haven't forgotten how to do this. And now we can start talking about planning a parade. Live on Causeway Street, Michael Rosenfield, NBC10 Boston, back to you guys. Michael, oh my gosh, so much excitement there. Meanwhile, all these fans just piled out of the bars here. They are so excited. A lot of people partying in the streets tonight. We want to give you a look up above at Chopper outside the TD Garden to show you just how many fans. Actually, we're going to be going to our Kirsten Glavin joining us outside Fenway right now. Kirsten, what is it like where you are? We earned this a long time coming since the trade picks for KG and Paul Pierce. We're loyal fans. We deserve this out of any team in the NBA. Celtics and five, baby! is so loud out here but we of course are having so much fun the celtics your new nba champions they're getting banner 18 well deserved after such a dominant performance tonight from this team we want to give you a live look from our chopper outside of tv garden 19,000 plus fans are going out into the streets to party tonight the police are doing a really good job blocking causeway off to make sure that this does not get out of hand we, <laughs> of course, plenty of fans watching from so many different sports bars tonight. Do, again, dominant performance, Jason Tatum. We want to go to our Oscar Margain joining us live outside the garden. Oscar, your reading prediction was correct. 
<laughs> that is right, Priscilla. Yeah, we did have some fortune tellers here predicting what was going to happen tonight, and it came true. We're about a half a mile away from the TD Garden. I got to tell you, we're over by City Hall Plaza, and we are already getting the fans from all the bars and all the watch parties here tonight, also descending on City Hall Plaza. You can see behind me, the crowds are starting to follow in. There are a couple of bars here where people are starting to come out as well. I'm going to have my, my photographer uh, pan over here to this side. You can see all the motorcycles here lined up from different cities and towns. Bill Ricca, Salem, Gloucester, all here trying to provide some support for Boston because they know that there's going to be a lot to handle here tonight where as people are trying to celebrate here and they're trying to keep everything in order. So far, so good. There's still uh, not a lot of people here. We are expecting a lot more folks to move again from the garden all the way down over here to Cambridge Street and potentially a gather here at City Hall Plaza to continue to celebrate this historic win. 18 banners now for Celtics, the team with the most championships in the league. For now, reporting live at uh, Government Center, Oscar Margain, now back to you. All right, Oscar, thank you. Pretty quiet where he is right there. We do want to go to NBC Sports Boston's Chris Forsberg joining us there at the Garden. Chris, I want to ask you tonight, who was your MVP and who deserves it? So it will be interesting. I wish there was a way that we could split it between Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown because not only have, were they great together tonight, but really throughout this postseason, I think if I had to lean one way or the other, I would go with Jalen Brown just because he's been so good and took on the challenge of defending Luka Doncic throughout this series. He was maybe their most consistent and efficient player overall. But the whole group tonight especially, it felt like everybody rebounded, everybody got in on assists. This was a total team win to get them to the finish line. And boy, does that speak volumes about the way this team won this season and how they got to this magical point. Now, Chris, do you think that final run in the second quarter clinched this game win? I mean, that was incredible. Payne Pritchard right at the buzzer, right there before <laughs> halftime. Incredible. It was awesome. It was, uh, we were all sitting there in, in, in the press rows, me, Scal, Abby, and as soon as Peyton Pritchard subbed in there, we said, this, this is going up, and sure enough, he makes the half-court shot, gives them all the momentum, kind of capping both end of the first quarter, end of the second quarter. They were fantastic. It just could tell the party was kind of on from there. Got it close up down there, I guess, to 18 a couple times, but how appropriate is that, too? as they get to Banner 18, but it never felt in jeopardy from there. And credit to, again, that shows the depth of this team for Peyton Pritchard to be able to come in and even in a small role, help this team get to the finish line. All right, and they did it. Your Celtics, the new NBA champions in 2024. Thanks, Chris, so much. Have fun tonight. All right, we do want to go to our uh, Michael Rosenfield joining us outside. How is it over there? Well, the fans continue to stream out of all the bars and the restaurants from Hub Hall to Banners to Halftime Pizza to Scores to Sullivan's. Everybody's coming out. They're trying to keep people off of the streets for crowd control issues, but people are still finding a way to gather and celebrate right here outside the garden. How was it tonight? Where would you watch the game, and what do you think of the new title? We watched the game at Tall Ship Bar, and you know this 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 shit means everything to us. This ship, a Boston in my home, and Celtics in the balls. Let's go! And who do you have on top of you? This is Caden right here. This is absolutely phenomenal. It doesn't get better than this. The Celtics are the balls, baby. The season of the balls. And what's it like out here tonight? Crazy environment, no other city I'd rather be in. This city's burning down tonight, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. This is what it's all about right it. here. We got this it. This is what it's all about right all here. Matters. Where'd you watch the game and how is it out here this evening? We're at the tall ship. You know what? The city needed a championship. Let's go. We're dying. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. They needed it. They're sitting on each other's shoulders at this point. How was it tonight? How are you celebrating? It was awesome. I'm celebrating by going to the parade and taking off work. 
You got a parade to deal with later this week, probably. Will you be there? Obviously, I'll be, I'll be there. I cannot wait. Taking off work for that. Let's go Celtics. What do you think of Boston bringing home another title? I love it. This is a historic city. We love our heroes. Great, great game. Great team. God bless this city, guys. It's been a while since we celebrated a title. We'll go back next year. We love these guys. Do it again. Love, do it again, absolutely. How was the game tonight for you? Where did you watch it? What do you think of everything? Uh, we're in the hub. Like, it was amazing. We got to eat and everything. Like, we're from Maine, so we came down here to watch it. It was great. Thank you. Enjoy the victory.